little bit of what happened. It's David Reagan also involved in that crash with David Ruderman. You see Reagan walking from his car. Wow. Goodness. Six gets it's like oh, oh my gosh. Goodness gracious. Wow. Like Boris said, got into the six car. David Reagan. Oh my goodness. That's a hard lick for David Reagan. This. Oh my goodness. Fellows also into the wall in that. Wow, terrible. Reagan and David Ruderman climbing from their cars after those terrible hits on the last lap of the race. Well, David Reagan released from the infield care center after multiple hard hits on that last restart. What happened? Well, it's just a product of, of close quarters race. And at the end, um, you know, our UPS team had done a good job. We, we were going to salvage a top 20 finish, I think, after running out of fuel early in the race. But, you know, uh, I, I felt like I had a good run, thought I had Boris clear. And uh, I think he got a little better run than I did and just hooked us. And uh, he certainly could have given a little bit more of a, of a break. And we all could have gotten through there and uh, not torn up anything. Thing, but uh, he was aggressive. I, we were all aggressive. Um, he hooked me and uh, hit hard. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm, I'm sore. That, that was a hard hit. I looked down at my, my feet, my pedals, and my leg rests were all pushed over. You know, it's a shame uh, a racetrack that we go to in 2011 doesn't have a better wall design uh, all the way around the racetrack. So hopefully they'll look at that. That uh, I've been to some dirt tracks that have better walls than that. So it, uh, it was a hard hit, but uh, race cars are safe. Thanks to everybody back home that builds good race cars, and I can't wait to get to Michigan. Good to see David Reagan out of the infield care center. David Rudiman also over here. He's sitting on his golf cart. We obviously saw you get out of the car and kneel down. Where are you hurting the most right now? Um, <laughs> my pride mostly, but uh, I know some come in and, uh, and they kind of got in the uniform and uh, and uh, ripped a hole in it there. So uh, something was something flew in there and, and got a hold of my shin and and uh, ate it up a little bit. And I'm not exactly sure what, but uh, just uh, not a very good day for us. So I got to thank everybody at Aaron's and Best Western and Tums and you know the guys at MWR for building me safe race cars and uh, you know just a pretty dismal day all day and uh, we didn't look like we were going to finish all that well but I didn't figure we were going to finish that bad so uh, disappointing uh, didn't really need to happen unfortunately uh, but that's just how it goes. We've seen you take some hard hits where does this one stack up? Uh, this is one of the bigger ones I would say um, but it's part you know it's part of the gig, you know. I mean, you sign up to do this stuff. Every once in a while, you can hit, you know, hit something. And, and as fast as we're going, um, you know, you hit stuff pretty hard. So I'm good. Uh, we ready for Michigan next week. And um, but I'm thinking where I hit probably be a good place for safer barriers. So maybe we should look at that next time we come back. But uh, overall, okay, and uh, ready to get out of here. A lot of hard hits here today at Watkins Glen, Alan. Yeah, there sure were uh, a lot of hard hits. Look at the mess that car is. They probably won't run that one again. Yeah, and I'll have to say that both of these drivers handled that, that situation very well. They're right about the safer barriers. We have to take a look at that. And I thought David Reagan was uh, very composed in, in talking about that situation, that he could have got a little more of a break right there. Uh, there were some tempers back in the garage. Uh, Boris said is the driver of the 51. And he and David, the contact there was what started the whole incident. Well, David said he thought he gave him enough room, but Boris comes on. And you have to get back on the track right there, but all it takes is a little bit of a lift of the throttle to make everything. These guys weren't going to win the race. You just make it around. You're on the last lap. Now, Greg Biffle was right behind this incident. 
That's Biffle back there in the red, white, and blue car. Yeah, he got a pretty good view of this. His teammate taking an extremely hard hit. Yeah. Rudiman even harder. Biffle was a lap down, so he was just finishing the race. He did have a good view of all of this. And so after the race in the garage area, Biffle was confronting Boris Said. He probably taking up for his teammate somewhat. He saw that. If maybe he thought there wasn't any sense in that, especially for the spots they were racing for. And then Drew Blickensdorfer is the crew chief for David Reagan, and he's you see him right there beside some of his teammates. He's not happy. Wow. The fact is, it's a situation that could have been avoided. There's no doubt about that. And it's nice. Uh, I'm sure David Reagan and the rest of the teammates over there will be glad to know they have a teammate like Greg Biffle sticking up for them. Brutal finish to this race for David Reagan and David Rudiman. Ron Fellows also involved in that. We saw Ron walk from the infield care center as well.